Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice here with another bit by bit on Batania. Today we're going to be covering horns and drums. First, we're covering the horn of the wild. Well, it's a simple enough recipe made with just some living wood and a pasture seed, which in case you're curious, pasture seed is just some clipped grass dropped into a mana pool. Now, it's a very simple item, extremely useful. How is it used? Well, I'll show you in just a moment. As we continue on, I'll show you two more horns, and then I will use all three together to show you how good they can be. The next one is the Horn of the Canopy. This is just a Horn of the Wild with a trimmed piece of leaves from uh, any of your standard vanilla Minecraft trees. And last is the Horn of the Covering, which is a Horn of the Wild with a snowball. Now, let's find out what these things can do. I've got a little area set up over here. Let's assume that this is the spot that you actually want to start building your house. Well, there's a lot of clearing out to do before you can get there. So, with the Horn of the Wild, if you just stand and in an area, you use this item. Let's see if I can actually get this uh, to look properly. And you just right click. You can see it actually destroys all the uh, grass and flowers in a pretty good size radius. Now, that's not quite everything. There's still plenty of leaves and snow. Well, the Horn of the Canopy will help you out with those leaves. Very simple and quick work. I don't know how many times I've ended up uh, farming myself a really big oak tree and hated having to wait for all the leaves to go away. This will make your life that much simpler. And last but not least is the Horn of Covering. This here is meant to help you in snowy areas so that you can get your snowballs just like that. What's that you say? You want to automate things? Well, we've got that covered as well. Here you've got the Drum of the Wild, which is the same as the Horn of the Wild, but it's activated by a mana pulse, as I will demonstrate shortly. Next is the Drum of the Canopy. This imitates the Horn of the Canopy, but once again is activated by a mana pulse, which I will also demonstrate. I'll do these two together, and then we'll go on to the last drum. All right, I've set up a little demonstration area over here with some pulse mana spreaders and some uh, creative mana pools. If I have the uh, drum of the wild here and I need to clear an area, I can use it the same as with a uh, horn of the wild and just feed it a mana pulse. Now, it has multiple uses though. For instance, I have a jaded amaranthus here. This flower, when fed mana, will actually spawn mystical flowers, uh, which, you know, you'll need for turning into petals and so on uh, for further Batania use. Now, if you want to automate those, you can actually set it up so that it will end up clearing the air for you. Now, I'm just doing this manually right now so you can see what's going on. But you can see that that ended up clearing the way. Now obviously I could just hook up an hourglass or some other uh, method of uh, just harvesting that along with the uh, hopper hawk here which I have collecting all these items. And it, it would make things much much simpler and easy for you to take care of. Now on top of that if you have a tree farm going on and you just need the wood uh, for some reason you don't want any of the, the fuss you can then end up using the same way with the, uh, there we go, <laughs> drum of the canopy. Oops. Oh, that's a little bit outside of its range, but you can see there. So it's got a decent, they've both got a very decent area to uh, cover with, and you can use those uh, quite regularly. But I believe, yeah, there are uh, those saplings. I don't know that I just got those or not. So you'll want to be, be sure that uh, this is, a, this is uh, the right items for you before you end up committing to it. Now onto the last drum. Drum of the Gathering. Now this one here, it's a little bit more complex. You'll have to have access to the Alfheim portal. Now the reason for that is because its results often will end up meaning you'll get a lot more uh, mana generation options. So therefore it's gated. <laughs> 
literally, with the Alfheim portal. So you'll need some of the dream wood here that you'll get through that with. Uh, you'll also need an elementium ingot and a couple pieces of leather. We'll get you a drum of the gathering. Now this here is pretty nifty. Let's assume that you've dyed a whole bunch of different colored sheep. I only have a couple colors here because I spawned them in rather quickly. And you want to harvest their wool. Well, instead of having to uh, manually do it with a pair of elementium shears, uh, you can actually automate it as you could with the others. And once again, I've got a hopper hawk set up over here to gather the wool. Feasibly, you could have this set up to harvest all the wool of the sheep nearby, any colors you want, and you could have them feed uh, your uh, flower that would end up eating wool. I can't remember what the name of it is. <laughs> I'm sure I'll put it up on the screen right now. But that's pretty much it. These are really cool items. Uh, most of them, except for this last drum here, is uh, pretty easy and basic to make. You can uh, end up getting some great results for it, so you don't have to search all over the place for mystical flowers. You can actually generate your own with a jaded amaranthus and your uh, drum of the wild. Plus, you can also end up having a tree farm set up with your uh, drum of the canopy that will quickly and cleanly get rid of all those leaves much faster than most anything else you could have. Also, the horn of the wild, horn of the canopy, horn of the covering, all extremely useful for cleaning up things when you're in a hurry. So, I hope you liked today's video. If so, please give me a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and until next time, see ya. Oops.